Working with Excel time, never a simple task. Compute bonus hours between two times. Here, what we're saying is if you're working a graveyard shift, you're entitled to perhaps a bonus. We're gonna compute how that works using, well, we have that mod function. One of my favorites, one of the more confusing tools that once you understand it, it solves a lot of problems. But until, until you uh, have a firm grasp, it, it, can, it can just frustrate the heck out of you. Sort of like that offset function and that emult function. Mod sort of the same thing. Here, no bonus. We're going to use this if max min max 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 in order to come up with the various answers. Here is a detailed step-by-step -step approach to solving this and our narrative. Let's see how we can fix this thing. Are you entitled to a bonus? Brad Williams, XL Prime. Let's see. Over here, we have a start time and an end time. On the left, on the right, we have this bonus period. So 8, to 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., there is no bonus. So here we have 8 to 6, no bonus. 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. Start at what time? Start time, 5 a.m., 8 a.m., hours, 8, no bonus. 3 hours, bonus. How does this work? Look at the timelines. There's no bonus between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. So you start at 5 a.m., you end at 1, well, 5, you get 3 hours. Okay, go to 10 p.m., you know, anything after 8 is going to be going to be a bonus. Simple math, 10, let's look here. We have 10 to 5 a.m. From 8 p.m. until 8 a.m., it's all bonus. So you work that date, you work from 10 to 5, you're getting 7 hours bonus. 5 p.m. till 5.30 a.m. So that's 12 and a half hours minus three is going to get you 9.30. How do we do this? Here, what well, we're doing is taking mod, mod C5 minus B5. Why mod? Well, you know, once we cross over this midnight thing, things can go crazy on you. Well, I will get rid of mod just to show you. I'm going to capture this thing, copy and paste. Paste and then stretch this just a bit to get an answer. 10 a.m. I don't like that format. Get rid of this. I have to get rid of the divisor. Well, if we take C minus 5, we're going to get 10. What do we have here? We just have time. Track down, control down. What happens? We went over that midnight thing. I can stretch this all the way across this sheet. And lo and behold, you're going, now I understand why we have mod. The idea here is to focus on why, why we use mod. Is there a reason? Well, because cross over that midnight deal, and I'm not going to get into the, the, the numbers here. You can see why we use mod. I'm just going to leave it at that. Back out. I'm just going to get rid of all this garbage and go back to where we started. What we're going to do, well, it's just very simple, no bonus. We're going to use this if, if B5, less than C5, B5, max. So we have this if true, value of true, value of false. F9, just look and you're going to go, well, they're not entitled to bonus. And then over for bonus, all we're going to do is D5 minus C5. We're going to go through max. Let's look at this, zero. What's max? Max is just simply returns the largest number. Max, number two, F9, minus 496, zero. If, logical test, if true, find the max, so it's gonna be zero. If false, max high, and let's look here. Look at the second number, F9, plus, plus max, and then we go again, F9. We're going max, 0, 1, 2, 5 plus max minus. This is if it's false. 
value of false of nine is going to be, is that going to be 0 0.02, 0 0.125, and then value of true F9 is zero. We're going to get 0 0.0125. B8 is less than C8. B8 is less than C8. So you're going to be entitled to the bonus. And that's 0 0.125 of a day. It's an eighth of a day, which is three hours. Here's the formula. Here's the write-up. It's very simple. I'm going to let you do it. It's, you can see it. Now put pencil to paper and compute it. D7 minus C7 to come up with any bonus. Read it if you need it. And then this min, max, min, max, min, max. It's just this. Let's break this down. Here we have the formula. Let's just grab this entire formula. Here, copy, paste. It extends a little bit further than it should. Okay, where does it end? That's close enough. Here, here's the breakdown. Right here, we have max, zero, C8. All right, here's our name range. I didn't bring that up before. Low, I5, high, I6. Here we have max, 0, C8, C8 minus low, minus low. So we have 530. What's our max? It's going to be 0. We're going to have a negative number there. Fine. The next argument, we have max, 0, high, minus B8. So we have high, which is 8 p.m., minus B8. Minus B8, 5. It's going to give us, and we get 0 0.0125. Be sure to check out all of our Excel courses. Excel Data and Text Manipulation. We have an Advanced Beginners and Intermediate course. Excel Essentials. This is for individuals new to Excel. We have an Advanced, Excellent Beginners, Level 1 and Level 2, and Intermediate Level course. Excel Formulas formulas only. We have a beginner, an advanced, and an intermediate level course. Click on any of the links. There's a short video that explains everything about the course. Check it out. That breaks down to, if we look here, this is going to be the false, right? If we look here at this if statement, logic, value, value of false. So now if we subtract max from max, we're going to get 0 0.0125 minus 0 is right here. So if we look, there's our false. We have to figure out the true, okay? So now we want to put this in general, and general is just easier to look at. Looking at this formula, we have the second piece. The second piece is going to be max B8 low 1003. So if we look max B8, 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 5 minus, no, B8 low, B8 is going to be 7083. And then number 2 is going to be F9, is going to be 0.33. We're going to get 70888. All right, max. And then we're going to go to the next argument, which is going to be min C8, and it's going to be 22916. And then we're going to look at this min minus max, and we have this minus 4797. What does that represent? That's going to be thrown over here into this max. Remember right here, our argument max, and this is the true max negative point four seven nine one six six minus max point two two nine one six seven the max here is zero max of this min minus min and what's going to happen it's going to be a negative number why negative four minus two is going to be a negative two and so we get a zero max. Then we push all this together and the final outcome is going to be if B8 5 p.m. is less than C8, then 
we're going to have to go true is not accurate because it's zero. If true, get zero. If false, if nine. Point one two five. That's what it breaks down to. Now is five p.m. less than C eight? No. So we have to look at false, and the output is three. Takes a little bit of math and a little bit of logic, but that's the output. Brad Williams, Excel primed.